this edition of the news, we're going to recap all the Mando Monday stuff that I had missed because I'm a bit behind in videos, some cool stuff, and not one, but two pieces of fan mail. All this and more coming up. Welcome to my television, your home of Star Wars action figure news. And yes, Mando Monday has been and gone, but didn't do a video, so here's a little bit of a recap. The first bit I want to talk about is the Razor Crest. The Razor Crest, it's completed, it surpassed all expectations. The last uh, thing that was 17,000, the Jawa card, blown out of the water because it finished off, and I put on my Instagram that it finished on 28,257 backers. A lot of us saw that number and we put it out there and said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't know what happened. More orders came in or they rejigged the numbers. Couldn't tell you, but the the next official number, believe it or not, has gone up to 28,893. Uh, what? So uh, my friend Only One Kenobi did a little bit of a video about this, so go and check him out. All the sites around the world that had uh, this up for pre-order have now listed them as sold out or have removed the listing. So they're all scheduled like, like Hasbro Pulse. As soon as it was done and dusted, no more could enter the backing. So it's done. It's on the way. And congratulations to all the years who put your order in. So next bit of news we're going to talk about. Ah, oh, this lovely Black Series figure. Look at that. The Remnant Stormtrooper. Yes, we did see a fake one about a month and a bit ago. But this is legit, this is the real deal from the Mandalorian, the Remnant Stormtrooper. This will be a Target exclusive, so you're looking at probably $24.95 US for it. For those of you in Australia and New Zealand, it's available at your EB Games. It will be available at online retailers as well, and in-demand toys and star action figures in the UK. Is it also on Zavi? I'll check, it might be on Zavi as well. Anyway, looks damn good. The side of the box, everyone's talking about the side of the box. The side of the box tells us there's a couple of images. Well, there's one image in particular, the cape on the side. They're all hinting this is Moff Gideon's cape. That tells us that there's a few figures before this. This will be a later number in the run of Mandalorians to make up the picture on the side. There's also an image on his right-hand side of something else. So if you know what that is, let me know in the comments down below. At the recent Mando Monday, there was no vintage collection stuff, so nothing. But... This helmet, which we rumoured as well, the Mandalorian's beautiful Beskar armour helmet, has a little torch on the side. This is brilliant. Uh, the exterior looks fantastic. Oh, the box shot as well. The box has a wedge on it, kind of like the boxes do now. A bit of artwork, the same Mandalorian coloured design. So that's interesting. So does that mean now that we've got Mandalorian and the helmet looks like the colour of their box art, does that mean if they give us a helmet, say, from Return of the Jedi, the box is going to be green? Ooh, this this would be an interesting development leading into the future about how many different helmets are coming. We know there is a rumoured Captain Cardinal on the way, which would be a Galaxy's Edge exclusive. And there's also talk of a First Order Stormtrooper as well coming soon. So that will probably have the colours of Force Awakens, something from the sequel trilogy. Anyway, so... Great helmet. Love this Mandalorian helmet. Um, it is available for pre-order. Comes out around about March. Uh, recommended retail price in Australia is always $240. In the US, I think you're about $109, $119. I have to verify that. Sorry about that. Um, oh, and the Remnant Stormtrooper should drop around about February, maybe late January for some other retailers as well. Next on the list was the Funko Pop, which we had rumoured. There is an in-hand shot that I put on Instagram of the child and the canister. This is a, like a deluxe size pop um, from the most recent chapter. Pretty cool. Will they do this for every single episode? Funko just seemed to smash it out with uh, action figures, of course. Like even the Mandalorian helmet, we should have it now, now, now. But we have to like wait, wait, wait. It seems a way for helmets, action figures, it's a bit of a wait. Funko seem to just smash them out that quickly because it's only 12 weeks from concept to shelf, so amazing. Um, also, new bit of news, Hasbro Pulse is doing another live stream. And this one, 13th of November, 11 a.m. New York City time. Ugh. Why am I annoyed? Because look at the time for me here in my part of the world. 3 a.m. Not going to get up for that one. 
have to wait till the reveals are in the morning. This one here is called the Triple Play, which features Transformers and Ghostbusters, then Marvel Legends and Star Wars. But the thing I like about SS Transformers and Ghostbusters, are they integrating the two? Are we going to see an Ecto-1 in Transformers form? You'll have to watch the live stream to find out. I'm guessing we'll have at least a Black Series reveal and a vintage reveal from Star Wars, a general release, so like figures that aren't related to the Mandalorian as well. So stay tuned for that. All right, so have I covered most of the stuff? New Zealand, yes, go and get your build-up packs, thanks to Darth Rock 1 that picture there, and your Incinerator Troopers. The Incinerator Trooper is also available in Australia at Target stores, but not the lame Target stores that used to be country stores. You have to go to one of the big ones that live thousands of miles from me, so don't worry about that. <laughs> go to a big target, don't go to a little target. While editing, I had discovered this photo on Instagram of the latest Mission Fleet series of The Mandalorian featuring not just The Mandalorian and the Child, but including Cara Dune, a Stormtrooper, and IG-88. There's the back of the packaging. All the characters are there. Doesn't have anything about any new series coming. Is priced at 39 Australian dollars and is available now apparently if it's hitting the store shelves not sure if this is available internationally or just an aussie exclusive but i think you guys will find it very soon in your local stores but very cool find indeed um let's open some fan mail yay first up this comes from jason spooner all the way from pittsburgh pennsylvania pittsburgh that's where the home of the steelers pittsburgh steelers and the pirates so thank you Jason this was sent when was it the 14th of September it is now November 11th is it the 11th today it's been about a month been about a month and here we go excellent look collectors wrapping it in bubble wrap brilliant oh, what have we got here no way the rest is just bubble wrap but Holy moly. 41 back, Danga. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, it's got that protective wrap on it. It has been looked after in the box. It was packaged up well. Oh my god. I'm looking at the ones on the back. Oh my god. <laughs> Minty fresh. Wow. Got the free coin proof of purchase offer. The coin. Get up close on the coin, they tell you. The offer is for Boba Fett. Wow. I'll have to flip this over in a second. Look at this. 41 back. In blue. Oh, unbelievable. You're going to get a case. Thank you, Jason. This is, this is, this is toy history right here. Oh, look at that back. Wow. <laughs> I will look after this for a very long time. This is amazing. Thank you so much. That is incredible. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys overwhelm me so many times over. You're so very generous. I thank you so very much for things like this. This is unbelievable. This this next one. <laughs> it's like, how can you move on for that? That's vintage. Proper vintage. Wow. This is from Goody's Toys. Goody's Toys is based is an online retailer based here in South Australia. I've never been to South Australia, but have a look, if I cover up the, um, I don't need to cover that up. That's my address. You know what it is. My address, PO Box 957. Goody's Toys, there you go. Look at that. Awesome. Now I believe the place of Handorf was settled by Germans back in the day. That's why I got that German name. I got a note in the top. It says, Mike, unusual. That's me. <laughs> Let me read the letter out to you. Hello, Mike. Thank you for the support of our online store, Goodies Toys. Here are a few goodies for you and yours as our way of thanking you for supporting your YouTube channel. Hope you enjoy and keep up the work you do delivering the Star Wars action figure news. That's what I do. Much respect from the whole Goodies Toys family. May the force be with you. Well, thank you. Let's have a look. Look at this. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Another well-packaged box. It's, it's the first one. We have 
It's like Christmas, wrapped up. Let's have a look here. Oh, jeez. Oh. No way. No way. Credit collection. Credit collection Mando. Unreal. First time I've seen one in person. Goody's Toys must have had him. Excellent. If you haven't seen the credit collection before, it is well worth collecting if you love this art style. The art style is exactly what you see on the figure. You get a little credit piece. All of them are in there at like, different angles. I think some of them are dead straight and some of them are tilted forward. Thank you, The Mandalorian. What? Fantastic. That's bloody fantastic. But wait, there's more. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> As you know in my videos, you can see up here, Amelia Clark played the lovely Kira in Solo. And she had a weapon. <laughs> And I've even got <laughs> some bullets to wail on people. Excellent. Nerf gun bullets. Pew pew. This is cool. I love this. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> I think my kids will have fun playing with that just as much as I will. We have a lapel pin featuring the classic Star Wars logo. Very, very nice. I may put that on my hat. If you ever have a baseball cap, you can pin them on sort of the back of the, the hat. Excellent, thank you. And last thing in here, there's the empty box. Look at that, well packaged all around. Bubble wrap, pillows. These pillows, they protect your stuff. Why doesn't all the companies use them? Another fragile case. Look at this well wrapped up, that's terrific. All right, I've opened this very, very carefully. There it is. Now, I've told you before, don't try and get it stuck into it and rip it out like that. Do it. If it took time and care to wrap it up, take time and care to open it up. Oh, I see VC27 here. Ah! Look at it. Yeah! There he is, the re-release of Wicket. That's brilliant. Awesome. That's... Ewoks coming back into the line. What does that tell you? There's like, there's something there that they're like, they're going to bring them back. You're going to see them again. I know we did see them in Rise of Skywalker, but hey, wicked. You're going to see him in Black Series soon. That is a very cool looking figure. Look at that. He's going to be cased up as well. You go there. And the last one. It's, it's a good one as well. This one. The elusive. <laughs> 167. Power Droid. Excellent. Thank you so much, Goodies Toys. You guys are brilliant. I will leave a link to their site down below. Check them out. If you're here in Australia, you can buy your toys from Goodies Toys. They're a family-owned business. Running out of South Australia. Excellent stuff. Wow. We've got the Dengar from Jason. we got the Power Droid, the Mandalorian Credit Collection, the Wicket, the Kiragan, and some ammunition from Goodies Toys. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I am always overwhelmed by the gifts you guys send me. Thank you so much. You are just the best fans in the world. I can't believe how generous you are to me, and it makes me a very humble man. Stick around. I'll have some more videos coming up later in the week. As you know, I'm a little bit more free time now. More videos on the way. So thank you very much. If you haven't done so already, hit subscribe. Ooh. Tap the little bell for notifications, slap a like on the video if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. All the best.